everyone. This is the system of linear equations. This is medium set number two. So basically, um, when you have a lengthy word problem like this, what you want to do is cross out um, information that doesn't impact the um, answer. So basically, um, what happens, let's see, here the number of items in each box doesn't matter because the entire question is about boxes of items, not the uh, number of items. So we can cross out 12. So we can cross out this 12 here. All right. This means you can eliminate B and D right away. But you see this uh, 12 here and here. So we can cross these out. And then after that, it's pretty easy. We know that the raspberry and the lemon is 46. And we just need to know how much uh, the raspberry, well, we already know that the raspberry is 15 per box. I'm just looking at the these two right here. So this is the difference here. What, which one is it? Is it 396 or 396 over 2? And we have 9 times the lemon. All right. So basically, um, the question states that R and L represent the number of boxes of raspberry and lemon. And um, the shop collects 15 for each box of raspberry and 9 for each lemon. So we have that. Um, because the question doesn't ask about the number sold per day, so it says the number sold per day is 2, uh, we don't need to use this one here. So basically our answer is just going to be 396. All right? It doesn't say anything about the number sold per day. All right. Next, we have Mia manages a health bar, and she wants to add a new fruit and protein smoothie to the menu. Um, she decides on the first new flavor she plans to offer. She sold, this should be sold, it's a D, trial-sized ban trial banana smoothies and kiwi smoothies. She charges $2 for a banana and $2.50 for the kiwi smoothie. And she sold $40 in all, totaling $85, uh, $87. So how much more money did Trisha make, or Mia, this is Mia, sorry, Mia make on the banana smoothies than the kiwi smoothies? So basically what we want to do is um, set it up. It's uh, $2 for the banana and $2.50 for the kiwi. And that equals $87. All right. And we also know that B plus K equals 40. So that's your system, and now all we need to do is use substitution, and so I'm going to let B here equal 40 minus K. You can do it another way. You could have uh, solved for the other ones, but I'm going to substitute now for my B. So I have 2 times 40 minus K plus 2.5K equals 87. So you get 80 minus 2k plus 2.5k equals uh, 87. I'm going to subtract the 80 from both sides and combine those two. So you get 0.5k equals 7 which is one half K, so K is 14. So from there, <coughs> we know that 
B, I'm going back to here, equals 40 minus 14. So B is 26. So she sold 26 banana and she sold 14 kiwi. But don't be really careful about subtracting these two, the 26 minus 14 and choosing A. Because the question asks, asks how much more money was made on the banana smoothies than the kiwi smoothies, not how many more banana smoothies were sold. So basically, she made uh, $2 times 26, which is $52. And then for the banana, it was 250 times your 14. And that gives you $35. Now subtract. So you get 52 minus 35, which equals 17. So your answer is B. So be really careful with uh, this one right here. That would not be the correct answer. You have to be careful when you're reading it. Okay, next one. All right, a uh, street vendor sells two types of newspaper, one for 25 cents and one for 40 cents. It, so basically, um, if she sold 100 newspapers for 28, how many newspapers did she sell at the 25 cents? So basically, let's set up the problem. Let's just call the newspapers um, two types, let it be X and Y. X is the first newspaper and Y is the second. So I'm going to put the number line, we have X plus Y equals 100. That's the how many total. And then our money line would be 25 cents for the first one and 40 cents for the second one, which is our Y. And that equals 28. All right. And then what you can do here is um, um, substitute and solve. So basically what you might want to do to make this easier is multiply this through by 100. And this one, so we have x plus y equals 100, and then you have 25x plus 40y equals 2800. It just makes it easier than dealing with the decimals. All right, now we're going to substitute. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this one as y equals 100 minus x, and I'm going to substitute this into my y here. So you get 25x plus 40 times 100 minus x equals 2800. And you simplify, you're going to get 25x plus 4000 minus 40x equals 2800. And simplifying further, we're going to get a negative 15x and I'm going to subtract out my uh, subtract my 4,000. That gives me negative uh, 1,200, and then divide by negative 15. So you get x is 80. Now the question asks for the number of 25 cent newspapers, which is x. Um, so you're all done. You're going to grid in 80, and that's your answer. Because we saw for x, and x was our 25 cent one here. Okay? Thank you. Oh, we got one more. Okay, so what's the value of x times y? So first of all, we have to find uh, x and y. And I'm going to go ahead and solve for this one here. Solve for y or x. So um, let's go ahead and uh, if we want, we can just rewrite this. If I rewrite this, I'm going to get x plus y equals negative 6 
and then I'm going to have negative 4x plus y equals 4. And if you want, you can just subtract this whole thing. And you subtract this whole thing, you're going to get 5y, because this will cancel. You get 5x. Uh, you get 5x equals, and you subtract 10, so x is 2. And if x is 2, then you just plug it back in. You get 2 plus y equals negative 6. So y is going to be negative 8. And then when you multiply it, you get um, um, you multiply these two. They want x, y. So that's 2 times negative 8. That gives you negative 16. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.